Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a fun video for you today. So Sephora has been coming out with a lot of new products in their Sephora collection line. And I've been picking up a few things over the last several weeks and trying them out. So I just wanna share those things with you in this video, show you some swatches, let you know what I'm thinking about them. But a little spoiler, I'm loving them. Um, there's a couple of products that I'm kind of like, they're okay, but everything else I am loving. Um, and I feel like Sephora collection is just an area of the store that's sort of overlooked for some reason. Um, I know myself as a shopper, like before I started working there, I would do that too. I would walk into the store and maybe like wander over there and swatch a few things, but it wasn't like where I beeline to when I would walk into the store. But I don't know why, because they have some really great products, really nice price points, and honestly, some of their stuff are like go-tos for me. So they just have really good products and I think that they kind of get overlooked. So I just wanted to share some of their new goodies that they've come out with that I'm really, really loving. So let's jump into it. And I have blog posts on a bunch of these products. So any blog posts that I have related on any of these products, I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. So if you like to see more still shots and more swatches and stuff, you can check there. But the first thing that I want to show you because I am totally totally obsessed with these and I can't stop using them. And actually I bought three of them and loved them so much that I bought three more. They are the Sephora Colorful Blushes. I think they reformulated these or either they just um, kind of re-released the line with a bunch of different um, colors. But I feel like the formula on these is different. They just feel creamier and butterier. Is that a word? More buttery. There you go. More buttery and they're just soft, but not too soft. I love them. So I'm gonna go through the different colors and then I'll show you swatches. So this one is Shame On You, number one. This is like a really wearable, kind of like mauve pink color. This is number two, and they're getting out of order here, two. So Shy, this is like a really nice, kind of light pinky color. I'm wearing this one and the first one. So I kind of have like a combo on my cheeks today. I just love these. And I think these are like $15. This is number three, Can't Stop Smiling. This is a really cute kind of um, wearable peachy shade. Love this one. Then this is number five, Sweet On You. This one's pretty bright. I have to kind of be careful with this one, but it is amazing. This is number 14, Over the Moon. Oh my gosh. Like an amazing lavender shade. Is that not incredible? I love it. Oh my gosh. And then number 18, True Kiss. That is so pretty. This is kind of like a, it's a pink and it's like a hot pink, but it's kind of like a light baby pink, but it does have quite a bit of lavender in it too. So cute. Let me swatch these. Okay, so here they are all swatched. So the first one is Shame On You. So you can see this is kind of like a mauve color, but it does have quite a bit of coral in it. Now that I have it swatched again, definitely has some coral. So pretty. This is number two, So Shy. Just a really cute pink. It's a little bit glowy, which is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love that one. I love all of these. I don't know if I could pick favorites. Um, this is number three, Can't Stop Smiling. Can't Stop Smiling. I made a little bit text in for you, Can't Stop Smiling. Um, really, really pretty wearable coral. So it does have, you know, some like nude in there and just, I don't know, it's very wearable. It's so pretty. This one is that bright one. This is Sweet On You. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, this is so fun. But that's pretty bright, so, you know, gotta kinda like be careful with that if you are as fair complected as I am. This one is that lavender color. It does have quite a bit of pink in it, you can see. Over the moon, look at that. That is so cute. Can't get over these. I love them all. All of them are amazing. This last one, um, you do have to kind of build up the color. This is True Kiss. It's very light. It's kind of like um, Illamasa's Katie or something like that. It's just a really light pink. Um, this one isn't quite as like light and white as Katie is, but it's still just that really nice, um, cool toned light pink, but I just, oh, I love it. If I had to pick favorites, 
Oh, I don't know. I really, I love them all. Maybe this one will be my least favorite of the group, just because you do have to kind of build it up. But all the other ones, I'm obsessed with. These blushes are a huge yes. And then they have their limited edition sun disc bronzer. I mean, hello. <laughs> That's a big old bronzer. I mean, it is just huge, like almost the size of my head. Um, last year's was this size too, it was really big. I didn't get the one the year before, but I'm pretty sure that every year the Sundisk bronzers are just big old bronzers. That's like, I guess what they're supposed to be. Um, this is so pretty in the pan. I love it. Mine's a little bit dirty and swirled together, but it's just beautiful in the design. It's got like darker shades. It's got kind of peachy shades. The lighter shades do have some gold micro shimmer running through it. But it's not, um, it doesn't come off on your skin as like glitter. It more just gives it kind of like a sheen to your skin. Um, but something to note about this bronzer, it's a pretty warm toned bronzer, especially when I get it on my skin. Um, it's just very kind of like summery bronze versus like, um, which summery bronze is why well, I described it as summery bronze. I just made up a word, summery bronze. I think of like summery bronzers as more kind of like orangey, warmer toned versus like um, those cool toned contouring type bronzers. This is not one of those. This is more of those, one of those warm toned bronzers. But I really do like the texture of it. Um, it blended well on my skin. I didn't notice anything um, being a problem as far as that goes. It's just the color of it. You have to make sure that you are looking for a warm toned bronzer if you're gonna get this one. But if that's what you're looking for, this baby is like $24 and you'll probably have this the rest of your life. <laughs> so if that's what you're looking for, here's your bronzer for the rest of your life. <laughs> I just love the way it looks in the pan. I think it's so cute. I enjoy collecting these and it's just pretty. It's pretty packaging. It feels fancy and I do like it. Um, I just mix it with other bronzers. That's sometimes what I do. I'm actually about to show you another one that I mixed with it today. Um, it just, I like to mix this a little bit with something a little bit more cool tone so it balances out just a little bit because I'm so fair complected. I do have to be careful with bronzers that are this warm toned. And then the other bronzer that I got is one of their bronzing face powders. This is in medium for Fiji. Now these look different. So I'm not sure if, I can't remember the names of the different colors before. I know Los Cabos was one of them. Um, but, and they have that again in this new design, but I don't know if they like completely reformulated these or if they just came out with different colors or if they just added the design. But I just know that I got this one and it's new to me. This is called Fiji and I actually really love this bronzer. This is, and I left on the other one so you can kind of like compare the two. This one is a much more um, cool toned bronzer, but it does have like a sheen to it, but I love this. Fiji is right there and there's the Sun Disc bronzer. It's so buttery in its texture and it's got that little bit of a sheen, but not like a full on glitter bomb or super sheen, nothing like that where it's gonna make you look just kind of a little bit strange or where you'll have to be a little bit careful with it. It's just so beautiful. It's a little subtle glow to your skin. Love this bronzer. I'm actually a little bit surprised. I thought that I would like it, but I didn't realize I would love it as much as I do. It is just like perfect. This is going to be definitely a go-to, not only um, for spring and summer, but just really any time of year. I think this is great. And I love the packaging. I think it's like really pretty and fancy looking. Another reason I love this Sephora collection line, I think it's just very sleek and pretty and they just do a great job, like really pretty packaging, but the products inside are really good. And they have their new lip glosses, and I can't remember the exact name of these, the Ultra Shine, Ultra Gloss, something like that. So I'm not sure if they reformulated these, but they've totally redone the display. So I'm assuming that, of course, the packaging is different. I do know that. Um, I'm assuming that they changed something about it and came out with new colors. So I grabbed two of them. I grabbed um, 21 Raspberry Punch and number five, Rose Petal. So this is a very kind of like wearable pinky shade and then the raspberry one. I bought these online and, um, you know, just kind of going on that and um, I think I picked wrong because raspberry, 
that is it raspberry punch look like a really pretty like bright raspberry and no there's chester hairs it's uh raspberry punch is very like see-through it's a very kind of like sheer wash of color which i was hoping for more more pigment to it but i do like the rose petal one so this one is a raspberry punch i mean it's just kind of like a topper sort of a gloss and then this one is the rose petal so I do like rose petal. I think that they're pretty. I think they're nice glosses, but I don't think that they're particularly anything like amazing and special and different. Um, but if you are looking for glosses, I mean, they are pretty. They are nice quality. The packaging is really, you know, really fancy looking. So they are good glosses. I just don't know that I'm like blown away and they're not like my favorite thing that I grabbed. I think they're just kind of okay. Then they have their lip liners to go and I grabbed four colors. So I grabbed Number 16, Nude Beige. Number 13, Pink Beige. Number 12, Vintage Pink. And this last one is number 11, Rose. So let me get these swatched for you and show them to you. Okay, so here these are all swatched for you. So going from this side to this side, the dark one is Rose, number 11, Rose. And then we have Vintage Pink. Then we have Pink Beige. And the last one is Nude Beige. So just all really cute colors. Um, I especially love the last two, the pink beige and nude beige. Those are like perfect just every day go with any kind of a nude sort of a liner. So I really like those. Um, these are like $6 a piece. I think they're cute little liners. Great for traveling and throwing in your bag. Um, you know, you have to sharpen them. So that's one kind of negative about them. How awesome would it be if they were like tiny retractable ones? That would just be amazing because then they would be little and you wouldn't have to think about any kind of a sharpener for them. So I do think these are really nice. I like the nude um, and beige color or the pink, um, the two beiges, the nude beige and the pink beige. I like those a lot and they're cute little liners. And then they've come out with some new colors in their shadow pencils. These are the colorful shadow and liner. They say waterproof and these are matte. So they have, I think, I don't know how many new colors, maybe like six or eight or something like that, new colors. So I just grabbed two of them, one really neutral color and one just kind of wild, I don't know why I got the light lime green one. I just thought it was fun and it was something different, you know? Sometimes you just gotta like step out of the box. So this neutral one is number 33, Secret Boudoir. Secret Boudoir, yes. This one is just a really nice nude color. I mean, it's pretty much my skin tone. And this lime green one is number 37, Fresh Limeade. I think I was just thinking, you know, I don't think I have a lime green pencil. Why don't I pick that one? That's what was going through my mind with that. I mean, look at that, that's like neon. How fun is that? Um, I have used the nude one in my waterline. I love these pencils. Um, I have a gold one and they're just extremely long wearing. They blend really nicely. They have so many different colors in the range. I love these pencils. I think they are such good quality. And I think it's really fun that they come out with new matte colors. So they have like, um like a bright, or not really a bright, kind of like a, um, how would I describe that? Like a raspberry pink or something like that. Um, and then kind of like a dark purple. So they have, you know, quite a bit of different options in this range now. And I love that they added the mattes. I think that's so great. And they've also added a couple new colors in their Luster Matte Longwear Lip Colors. I had actually never tried these until I bought these. Actually, I bought this one first and loved it so much that I went and got the other one. These are so amazing. The formula, I love it. Like it's, um, it's a long wearing lip product. It does feel a little bit dry on my lips, but nothing major. I think they're actually very comfortable. And this color, I just, ooh, I can't get over it. Okay, this one is in Orchid Luster. That's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is a beautiful, Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Beautiful purpley pink. And then this other one is in Russet Luster. I think this is such a fun, unique shade. It's like a rusty orange color, but I think this is still gonna be wearable. And if you have um, blue or green eyes, yes, this will be so beautiful and contrasting against your eyes. Look at those. I mean, 
my wide eyes are probably saying it all. I just, I can't with these. I think they are both so amazing. Orchid Luster honestly isn't that unique. It's a color that you probably have in your collection and other things, but it doesn't make it any less amazing. I think it's still incredible. And then um, Russet, what was it? Russet? I've already forgotten. Russet Luster. Yeah, I think it's just such a cool, like kind of rusty orange. It's really the perfect name for it. These are so much fun. I am super impressed with the formula of these. I love them. I want more. I think they're awesome. And then finally, there's a limited edition collection called the Craig and Carl collection. So there's like a five pan eyeshadow palette. There are four of these little duo eyeshadows. And then there are three different, what are these called? I think these are called the Color Lip Last. I think that's the name of them. I'll list everything down below that I can find for you guys. But um, the packaging on these, let me just show you, is so cute. I mean, it's like so kind of like pop art and just fun. The eyeshadows all had different little outside rings. So cute. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette that I got, the duo, this is a number six, London Eye. I'm wearing this on my eyes today. I do have something blended into my crease with it. This is okay. Um, I really do love the um, like charcoal, charcoal, the charcoal color is so cool. Um, the charcoal color, ch I said it again, charcoal color is really, really pretty. The pink looks really pretty when I swatch it. Um, I think it's just close to my skin tone, honestly, I think is what's happening. It didn't really show up on my eyelids very much, but I mean, it is really pretty. They're a little bit powdery. Um, honestly, I swatched the other three and I wasn't super impressed with the other three. Um, they just really didn't show up on my skin very well, but this one's really pretty. I don't know that this is a must have. Um, if you really love that charcoal color, that's pretty, but I don't know, the pink was a little bit disappointing to me. I did try to wet it and I tried to work with it, but it's okay. But honestly, I mean, the packaging is what, this is really what sucked me in. It was, it was all about the packaging for me. And then these, um, what are these? I've already forgotten. Where'd that go? Walked away from me. These color lip, color lip last. These are really nice. Um, they can feel kind of drying on the lips but they're super long wearing. So if you're looking for a long wearing lip color, these are really nice. Um, I do know that some of these colors were like selling in and out or going in and out of stock. Okay, so this first one is West End Swirl. It's a really pretty kind of like orangey, oh my gosh, <gasps> orangey bright red. And then this other one is like a pinky color. This is Bold Glory. This one actually looks very pink in the tube, but when I get it swatched, well, on my hand, it, it looks bright pink, but for some reason on my lips, it looks a lot more like corally or something. I don't know, but there are both of those really pretty colors. I mean, so opaque and creamy. They really glide on your lips nicely. When they're first setting, they feel a little bit sticky, and then once they set, they do feel like a drier formula. So you have to be okay with that long wear lip color feeling on your lips. If you don't like that feeling, um, if you don't like any kind of a drying feeling on your lips, I don't know that you will like these, but I love them for the longevity of them. And if they're feeling a little bit dry to me, I just like pop a gloss or something over them. I just love those colors. I mean, really that's why I got them. And I love the packaging. I can't get over that adorable, just pop art adorableness packaging. This is so cute. Okay guys, so those are all the new goodies that I picked up from the Sephora collection recently. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you to kind of see some of these products and look at the different swatches. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Let me know what you've been picking up from the new Sephora collection goodies recently. Let me know any questions that you have. I'm always happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.